Well, this is disappointing. I forgot to bring my rain fly. Came out here to set up my hammock and uh, got my ridge line all rigged up and realized the rain fly is not in my pack. And it's one of those days where it was drizzling earlier. It's not raining now, so I will still test out the bug net that was on the agenda. This is one of those $15 equip bug nets you get from Walmart. And uh, I took it out yesterday when I bought it, compared it to the more expensive bare butt bug net that I purchased a while ago. And uh, I'd say the quality is pretty close. The bare butt's a little better in some aspects, but um, this one seems to be about the same size and uh, looks like it'll hold up pretty well. Let's give it a try here. So that's it set up. I probably don't need to attach those straps to the, the upper ridge line there, but I did anyways. I will crawl in now. Hopefully I'm not too close to the ground and we will see what happens. Well, that's me inside and it's all zipped up. Um, you probably can't tell, but there's absolutely no tension on those upper straps to the, to the other uh, ridge line outside of there. Everything is supported by the hammock ridge line right there. And uh, I don't know, this seems, it is not less roomy than the bareback bug net. Maybe more roomy, it's really hard to tell. I don't have the rain fly on and I don't have the poncho liner under quilt uh, that was on when I had the uh, bare butt bug net. So that may be influencing my uh, perceptions a little bit. Uh, it seems roomier and lighter, but uh, it's definitely for $15, it definitely seems to be a good deal. Two zippers, one goes up. One goes down, and it's kind of a semicircular zip there, whereas the, uh, the bear bug goes horizontal. Um, I'm not sure which is better or easier to get into. Uh, this one was no more easier or difficult than the other one, so I guess it's just, uh, I guess it's just a matter of preference. Well, I brought along my Aztec death whistle. Everything is real calm. You can hear the animals are all nice and cheerful. Let's just see what effect this might have. Oh, just for a moment though. It didn't really affect anything. <laughs> of course, those campers on the trail 200 feet away just crapped themselves. What the hell was that? I'm not going to do it again. They won't know it was me. Another recent acquisition. This is my first trip using these trekking poles. Also purchased at Walmart for about 20 bucks. These are actually pretty cool. I've been using a hiking stick for a couple of years now. And uh, it saved my butt a few times when I tripped. And uh, as the knees get stiffer, sometimes they don't lift up as far as you think they will and you end up tripping over a log or something. So I figured, you know what, one is good, let's try two. And these really work good because not only do they help me maintain balance and stuff like that, but um, every time I put one of the poles on the ground, it's resting, you know, 15, 20, 30 pounds or whatever amount of weight is on it that my legs don't actually have to lift at that moment. So it, it uh, actually makes me, helps me move a lot quicker. Once again, I have located myself near to a swamp. Uh, hopefully, nobody will visit me here. <laughs> 